so now we're starting the trip with Roberto Penny Cabrera. This is the the truck, and this one's not her Melinda. This one is Deborah. I don't know if these are named after ex-wives or not. He is quite the character and quite a charmer. And we have had three stops with the police already so that uh, he could talk his way through different streets that have been closed for some reason. Or to park illegally. Or to, or to park illegally as we're buying supplies, as we're getting ready to head into the Okahe Desert. Uh, this should be a, an incredible trip. It already is. It, are, it already is a trip and we've only been on it for about an hour and a half. And he's perfect. Wow. It's not repair. This is Beth packing up the truck. <laughs> Imagine. We're ready. Guess what he first. Has to be a little serious. some prospecting and that's the volcanic mountain ridge in the distance we're standing right on a fault line actually between the Andes and that volcanic ridge and that's the Andes off in the distance absolutely amazing That you did one? <laughs> she is low maintenance. Low maintenance. Look at the water came through here. An amazing canyon. Goodness. Oh, man. Oh, and there's water down there. Ah. So you're watching 10,000 years or 13,000 years when the glacier time ended. <laughs> this was a river, but then it becomes a flood. <laughs> so there was not too much water. Very simple to understand. Because lots of water will make a straight line like far away. <laughs> Wow, that's impressive. There's still water, there are yeah. rocks, and there's 
once in a while some water come around and take a look. Huh? Mm. Isn't it nice? Mm. Amazing. Man. We have a good friend, another veterinarian named Bill Abbott. Oh, I'm gonna who would not like this at all? <laughs> Nobody like this. And those buggies are really kind. They this, look I mean, all of them are mine. Mm. This is the key. Do it, Chris. You might do it. I could do it. But those guys, they won't let you do it. Mm. Okay. The vertical crack in that wall right there. Put you on the best place to film. Just can't get out. Oh, in there. Yeah. Mm. That's why there are holes. Mm. You, cannot, like, you see the white marks down there. It's shed of hole. Mm. And if you see in different places, you could see shed of foxes. Right? Yeah. They stop over there. Which, which is weird. Mm. It's why there are no foxes. Mm. <laughs> and normally, it's because it's not enough hot. Wow. And I could tell you that the wind have changed because nobody go down that layer. That's too steeper. You mm. cannot even stop to roll mm. yourself. Yeah. To roll. That's very strong. Mm. Yeah. Alright, Beth. No, no, no. You can do it yourself. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't trust the wind. Uh. You just give me your hand and keep it, keep it there mm -hmm. and get as closer as you can. That cement, okay, it's not gonna bring you. There's a leak there. It sure is. Wow, that water looks so clear. Yeah, it's very nice. Whoa. Pretty good view. And I'm taking a different one and then to a different one because this is amazing. I call it my bedroom. <laughs> it is. This was a river once. Mm. Okay, so here, up here.
there's way up, way up there, you're not going to find a tooth there because this is a weaver. Mm. We need to find the flyer. Mark, always with sand. Don't walk with this. <laughs> you walk like this, walk like this. <laughs> over sand. Tough enough. Wow. Well, Mom, they're here. But look how much it changed. It is. Hmm. The water is clear. Yes. You can see the bottom from here. That's why Lots I say it needs volcanic change. I got it. Hmm. Yeah. Everything out there. Here. That's why there's so many prints. Yeah. Because I live behind them. Mm. It's almost like each one of those little mounds. Thousands of them. So here, we have all the way. Keep filming. I am. size of that skull.
Sunrise in the desert. No clouds on either side. Wow. Now we got the, the shooting thing. The sunrise are amazing. <laughs> it is remarkable. <coughs> Second day arriving at another canyon in the morning, and it is spectacular. cannot get here without a very, very special vehicle and a guide. You could die out here. This is like driving into the middle of the Badlands or the Grand Canyon with nobody out here but us. Took a little while to get up here. With a lot of rocks, very sharp rocks that could blow the tires pretty good. Just look at Three hundred and sixty degrees of some of the most incredible scenery you will ever witness on the planet. And it is so quiet here, not a sound. The rocks. Take a look. <coughs> you don't have sand around the rocks. Mm. Why? Because it's a twister. It's, it's cleaning up around. And you could see it's very open here. Mm. So the sky here during the night is amazing. The sense, the sun. Imagine the sunrise here. Mm. Now you get it. So the question is, how old is this? Hold it over there. First you do. We, we, I also ask permission to get inside. I never go inside without one sun or something that I like. A giant I circle in small me. stones on the top of this mountain. Okay. That is beautiful. Wow. This is a volcanic ridge at the edge of this canyon. Oh, 
fog to stay here. Mm -hmm. So when I saw the fog far away and that moved and that hardly we could see. Yeah. Okay. So you want to try to climb this. Show me when they're bigger than this. Crush. Mm. The tire is the one that pushed. Yeah. That was a very big one, mm. right? Look at that, there's a bend there. So that's Suspension. old. But not all that old because that's cracked and broken. Mm. That is new. Mm. Because water didn't rain. Mm. So how far? We could, we could be talking about 5,000 years, mm. half a million years, mm. who knows? But what happened once, it will happen again. Years is a life. So the stupid guys make the question, why? We're talking in the middle of a worst place. The most destructive areas I show you up on the hills. This is getting like a balloon up, right? Mm. Up there, right? But here, it's very aggressive. It's destruction. It is the compressed pressure. It breaks the few big hundreds of parts. Mm. Like a box. Look at all the oyster shells in here. Five thirty in the afternoon, up to the top edge of this giant hill, mountain, overlooking this canyon. Yeah, yeah. The little black spot in the distance is base camp. And there's nobody. It's a massive canyon at sunset.
Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm running on the backup battery, which is a little bit bigger. You get the, uh, yeah. I don't get my camera view from behind. Ooh, goodness. This is a ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to remove this hat. And with this hat, I'm going to knight you, <laughs> knight of the desert. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. You need to pretty well and things like that. Here's what's left of the campsite, broken down in broken down and loaded in about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Telling you. you, you were worried as soon as the sunrise, you were worried about how to pick up everything. No, I wasn't worried, I just wanted to do it before it got too hot. Pipeline Road headed out. Oko Kahi. They say Oko Kahi, but Oko Kahi is 70 kilometers yeah. away. So, what desert is this if it's not Oko Kahi? This is the Blasso of Ica. The Blasso. But the last city of the river is Oko Kahi City. Mm. So, you gotta understand this. Maybe brown thing. Momentary clutch failure, 15 kilometers from the main road. And it's hot in the middle of the desert. Looks like we had air bubble probably in the hydraulic line as we were climbing up and out. But it's cooled, and once we started back downhill, we got reverse gear. So I think the air is out, or at least the bubble is moved. Uh, we kind of quasi bled the line. Nice 360 degree view. Phenomenal looking desert terrain. 